Good morning. Welcome on this beautiful June morning. And it's great to see so many supporters out for the opening of our office and for the support of Alan. I want to thank you for the honor of being asked to introduce Alan Thompson, the Liberal candidate for the federal riding of Huron Bruce. My name is Sally Walker, a Huron County resident for 44 years. Prior to the election of 2015, I worked as a volunteer on Allen's campaign. This was a brand new experience for me, and during that time, and later as a board member, I've gotten to know our candidate. I wish to share with you why I truly believe that Alan Thompson undeniably deserves to be the next MP for the riding of Huron Bruce. <laughs> Alan's strengths are many. He is intelligent, well-educated, and has broad work and life experience. These are all great things to be able to say about any candidate. But even more importantly for me, is that I have come to greatly admire and genuinely like this man. I believe him to be honest and a person of the highest integrity. Alan listens carefully, thinks critically, looks for practical solutions, and works well with everyone, but shows leadership when required. I think it speaks volumes that in the past four years of working with Alan, I have never heard any negative comments about Alan from anyone. He is highly regarded and well respected, and he respects others as well. For example, he has always insisted that his election team refrain from ever speaking disrespectfully of any political opponent, and Alan sometimes that's darn hard. <laughs> Alan is an excellent communicator. I think this is in part because he really cares about others, their lives, their concerns, and their dreams. He is truly comfortable in talking with people from all walks of life and all backgrounds, at doorways, in farm lanes, coffee shops, at many social functions, wherever. He listens about the concerns over the economy, healthcare, NAFTA, jobs, the environment, taxes, education, etc. And he reflects on what he hears and plans how he and the Liberal Party can achieve better outcomes for the people of Huron Bruce. <laughs> Alan is undoubtedly one of the most hardworking people whom I have ever met. Long days, hard days, tough days. He takes them all in a stride. He is actively engaged in Bruce where he grew up on a family farm and in Hiram where he now has a home in Godridge just a few blocks from here. Welcome, Alan. <laughs> Alan really loves these places where he is loyal and he shares community values. In fact, I feel that in many ways, Alan's life reflects the makeup of this huge riding. He is equally comfortable in our rural areas and in, and in our towns, for he has worked on farms, but also in urban centers, both as a journalist and a university professor. He will fight for farmers, business owners, families, women, children, seniors, the disadvantaged. He will fight for Huron Bruce. He knows what our needs are. He knows that our riding must have strong representation to get a fairer share. He knows how to get things done and he will not stop until he achieves these goals. Finally, I support Alan Thompson because he represents the values of the Liberal Party of Canada. Fairness, justice, inclusiveness. Our Canada, our Canada. 
is needed in the world at this critical time in history, now more than ever. I am supporting, I am supporting Alan Thompson because Alan is the real deal. Please welcome him now and please support his campaign in any and every way as we lead up to the federal election on October the 19th. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sally. I need to get a copy of that <laughs> while I was reading it over your shoulder. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, I realize the farmers will be on the land, and that's a good thing, although I see Nick here. Uh, so, just a, a few thank yous to begin. My, my co-campaign managers, Duncan Jewell and Rod McDonald, uh, both were unable to be here. Duncan, because he's had serious surgery recently on the vertebrae in his neck, but he sailed through the surgery and is in great shape and will be back in the saddle very soon. Sent us about a thousand word text message <laughs> from the post-op, like yeah. within hours of his surgery. So, and Rod McDonald is doing what Rod does, he's working. He's at the Provincial Liberal uh, Convention in Toronto, where a number of people are today. So, uh, thanks to them for all of their tireless work and all the volunteers so I, s I see here. And especially in the, the process of opening this, our first uh, campaign office, Laura Herman and Sue Pai, just thank you very, very much for the hours and hours that went into finding this location, getting it decked out. It's a great spot. Uh, it's a little weird having gigantic pictures of yourself <laughs> all around. When I had them in the car yesterday, they, were, they took up a lot of space. So the sign says brief remarks. So I will be brief, and then we're gonna, we're gonna come in the front here and literally cut a ribbon to officially open this office. Uh, I'm really proud to be running as the Liberal candidate once again in Huron-Bruce. I am very, very confident that we are going to win and that Huron Bruce will be a liberal riding after October. And I promise not to turn this into a long speech. This is just a quick opening, but I wanna tell you, you'll hear me talking a lot about sort of three broad categories of things. Uh, creating opportunity, promoting well-being, and doing politics differently. And what I mean by those, creating opportunity means a lot of things and it, it all of these things speak to what our current government is doing what we can do what we will promise and what i promise as a candidate and creating opportunity is things like the canada child benefit which this government created which has lifted hundreds of thousands of children out of poverty in this country i asked for the statistics Seventeen thousand children in this riding have benefited from that program created by this government that creates opportunity. And this is about rural economic development, making our small towns and our communities places where, where everyone can prosper, places where young people can come back home and, and build their lives. And I'm meeting more and more of those young people and bringing broadband internet to communities like ours so that people can live and work here and, and make a life. So at every point that we can, creating opportunity for people to live their lives and promoting well-being this term well-being uh, who has family in New Zealand uh, Sally New Zealand has done something interesting there's people moving away from this purely economic GDP measurement of how are we doing as a country as an economy and a lot of people are now moving toward this notion of well-being which they're actually defining with what factors go into someone's well-being and I think as political candidates, as political parties, we should be promoting well-being. And those, that's the, across the board, health care, mental health, our seniors, our young people. How do people feel about their lives, their well-being? Are they doing well in life? Is everything how it should be? Everything that we can do to, to promote, and this is... I think a different way is sort of thinking. It's not just dollars and cents and economics and GDP. It's looking at life a bit differently and trying to shape our political program on that basis. And the third area, I will talk about doing politics differently. Now, I, I got into this because of the slogan of hope and hard work, 
four years ago, and I believe that very deeply. I believe in positive politics. That doesn't mean that you cannot criticize your opponents, that you can't talk about what maybe you disagree uh, with what they're doing, but I will not descend down that slippery slope of personal attacks and nasty tweets, uh, the this, this sort of social media swamp that a lot of people spend far too much time in. I think we need to be positive, be constructive, and look at ways we can do things differently as political actors. And in a rural community, to me, I think that means the, the candidate going to where you are, not waiting for people to, to come to you. And so I'm going to make a point of trying to get out to smaller communities. I'm, I'm thinking about holding some town halls in small places that don't normally host these events. Rather than waiting for the, the, the debates uh, during the actual election campaign, getting out there and just doing a brief introduction and then handing the microphone over to people in the audience to tell me what is on their mind. And when, when journalists ask me, what do you stand for, what are your policies, I still come back to what people should expect from their Member of Parliament if you had to boil it down to one thing. It's just hard work. Somebody who is going to work hard for you, no matter what your political stripe is, listen and then get things done. And so my intention is to be out there to listen to people because to be heard in Ottawa, you have to listen in here on Bruce. And I think we do need a much, much stronger voice for this riding in Ottawa. I think we've sort of lost our voice. We're not heard from. But again, I, I repeat, to be heard in Ottawa, you've got to listen here in Huron Bruce, and that's what I intend to do. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for joining in what I truly believe in. Hope and hard work wins elections. And so I'm very hopeful from what I see here today, and I'm going to continue working as hard as I can, and I'll be leaning on all of you to do the same. So thank you very, very much. And I think we should all turn around now and come this way and look across the street where Devin is going to take a photo for us of the official opening of this office. So please join me in front of the office. <laughs>